Welcome to Fortune Cookies Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. This is continuing the 31 days of tarot. We are on to day four. Now, I can't show, this is um, what tarot books did you read? What would you recommend? I'm just gonna recommend one. I read a whole bunch. But the book that I am going to recommend for tarot, if you, it, it's actually specific, if you would like to know more about the Aleister Crowley Talk Tarot, uh, in my last video I did talk about how I struggled with learning the deck. This is my deck from way back when in 1988 when I purchased it. Um, the deck that I did struggle with, there was some writing on it, but um, at one point I was like, you know what, I am not going to go any further with this. Um, oh, and I think it's actually, it's, I think it's in order. Oh no, it's not. It's not in order. <laughs> so um, the the book that I read was Understanding Aleister Crowley's Toth Tarot book, uh, Toth Tarot by Lon Milo um, Duquette. Uh, it's D-U-Q-U-E-T-T-E. Uh, if I butchered that name, I apologize. Your book was fantastic. Um, I had read the, the traditional Toth Tarot, or, or Thoth Tarot, a lot of people say it differently. Um, I had read the original book, the Crowley book, and, you know, to quote Beetlejuice, it was like reading stereo instructions. Um, it was pretty intense. You know, my 17-year-old brain really could not handle it. And um, I, I also was, was, you know, troubled by the artwork, and I, I just struggled with it. And I said, well, I'm just going to stick with, with Rider Waite. And I actually got a couple other decks that, at the time. I got the Aquarian Tarot. I got the uh, Witch's Tarot. There's another Witch's Tarot deck that I got that's hidden out in my storage facility. And apparently it's out of print and it's worth like $500. So I'm desperate to find it. Uh, but the the book that I read, The Understanding Aleister Crowley's Child Tarot, and I, and I apologize, I do have it on my e-reader, so I can't really show you the book. <laughs> But it, it helped clear the cobwebs away. One of the things that it did for me, and, and it, like I'm still, for me, reading a book, I don't read it through once and I'm done with it. My husband's really good at that. He reads a book, he memorizes everything in it, and he carries on. Um, he can chuck books out left and right. I keep them as resources. I always return to them. So, uh, you know, just to keep you entertained, I'm going to be doing a flip through. So one of the things that the book helped me understand much better was the uh, concept of the tree of life and how it applies to the tarot, specifically the Thoth tarot, Thoth tarot. Uh, as you can see, Lady Frida Harris, you know, the artwork is really, really intense. There's a lot going on on this card. Um, there's a lot going on on all of the cards. There's a lot of symbology here. So, you know, it was so easy for me just reading the Crowley book to get lost in the weeds and get lost in the, um, just the artwork on the cards it was really really hard to feel confident reading it one of the things that i did find was that when i read with the crowley deck i would get headaches uh, you know and i i don't think it was anything mysterious i just think it was me like trying to you know serve the deck correctly so you know talking delving more into the uh, tree of life and how it works with tarot was one of the things that the book did for me the um, understanding Aleister Crowley's top tarot so uh, another thing that I was completely unaware of this cross on the back actually has a lot of meaning that you know they break the cross down into the different components and what it all means that you know the this is uh, parts of spirit there's alchemy in there there's astrology like there's a lot more going on to this cross than i knew uh, so that was something that like i didn't even get into in the traditional crowley tarot um books and publications so um oh and by the way i i know i passed by it but where is that that oh i thought i had the devil card here oh i thought i had him here I guess not. I guess not. He hid. Um, so I strong, there's a death card. 
That is a fabulous death card. Excellent death card. But a lot going on. There's a fish. There's a net. There's crazy ropes and things. And there's all sorts of stuff going on there. So, um, you know, as, as you can see, it's really easy to get caught up in the drama of the artwork. And, um, you know, it is quite quite intense so i strongly recommend the book this is actually the princess of discs is the cover art on his book um it's it's available in digital format so if you read digitally definitely get it if you struggle with the toth tarot if you struggle with the academics of this deck i cannot oh there's our devil card i knew he was nearby that is some intense artwork there. That is some intense phallic work. Uh, chaos in the tower card. So definitely recommend um, the Understanding Aleister Crowley's Top Tarot by Lon Milo D. Kite? Oh, I, I hope I'm not butchering that name. Um, but again, day four of the 31 Days of Tarot. I'll be posting more. I hope you're enjoying this. And please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, private reading information is in my bio section. There's a link to my scheduler there if you would like to book an appointment with me. So um, I hope you all have a great day and you're having a great start to 2022. More to come.